Well, what's up, YouTube? Brian here from Team Dreadnought, uh, bringing you a deck file of my Aqua Force deck. Sorry we've been away so long. Do the same thing. I said bringing mine. Anyways. Where was I before Michael so really interrupted me? Oh, oh yeah. Bring you uh, my Aqua Force deck file. <laughs> Sorry we've been gone so long, we've been doing things and stuff. The wind people. finally blows! Now Overlord can fly his kite! <laughs> While Swim's over there being a cock and you're about to go beat his ass in a minute. <laughs> um, I never faced you yet. How bad? Uh, our starter, uh, Blue Storm, Cadet, Marios. I was completely wrong about the starter. I thought he was trash when he first saw him. Michael proved me wrong. Um, he's actually a really good starter. His effect is... No, no permanent grade 3 service is pretty good. <laughs> You said he was bad. But let's not no, I didn't. I said the one. I said the Legion Storm was bad. Okay, whatever. Anyways. Alright. When you boost an attack, the third attack of the turn or more, if you have an Aqua Force Vanguard, you can check the t and it hits, you can check the top five cards of your deck, search for a unit with Blue Storm in its name, and I, uh, not Blue Storm, excuse me, Maelstrom in its name, and add your hand. He rightfully should have been checked the top three for a grade three, checked top five for a grade three uh, Blue Storm, but what are you going to do about it? No, it's not. Yes, I fucking should have. He's awesome at that. He's like, I'm mm, like, 10, 10, 10, 10. Triggers. Somebody be behind the camera to make sure I'm not really a fucking off center. Four, uh, Supersonic Sailor. Goes with Assault, unflip damage. He's a crit trigger. Woo! One of the many ways you can unflip damage and knock him So Next, we have three. Uh, Blue Storm uh, Soldier, Missile Trooper. He's Blue Storm in his name. Everything in this deck is Blue Storm specific besides the boss unit. You need him. And the triggers. You have four. Battle Siren Malika, Center to the Soul, give you a 3k. She can. It's criminal that only one clan got a Marvel clone all the way in the set 13. It really is. Okay, so let me continue. Uh, Malika got a. This man cracks shows all the time in YouTube videos. Malika, she goes to Soul to give you 3k. She can give. Uh, she can pump your Spiros up to be able to hit a Vanguard. She can pump Basil to make him 13. She is Title Assault's best friend. She's Title Assault's best friend. She's everybody's best friend. She's not Title Assault's best friend. She is Assault the Chronicle. Yeah. No, I'm missing the uh, Blue Storm Battle Princess Doria. She's a Blue Storm. No. Seven crit five draw. In the heel we have this sexy man. Blue Storm Soldier Kitchen Sailor. He's a cook, like badass. And he's a Blue Storm heel. Woo! Why is a cook not a draw trigger? <laughs> I never understand. This. Why? If he's cooking it up. He's cooking up your heels. Yeah, he's gonna serve you more cards. He's serving you more heels. Actually, so. <laughs> I'm gonna serve you a heart. Alright, that's my uh, grade zeros. <coughs> it could be a crypt trigger, serve your opponent some rat poison. <laughs> You're right. Grade one. Four Blue Storm Marine uh, General Hermes. He's an actual legitimate tank attacker that we've been waiting for fuck ever for. Except that those are going to have to drive to the problem still. They join, they don't have it took for fucking ever to get this card. <laughs> yeah, Jolis don't have those yet. Good! <laughs> Jolis legitimately should have gotten 12 10 days after. Like, I'm not even gonna joke anymore. You wanna know the real pain? Where the fuck is my Grand Blue sub clan? <laughs> Be glad you don't have one. I Grand Blue's best aspect is that they don't have a sub clan. But that's another discussion for him. No, it's not gonna get you shit like Cyclops. Fucking. Cyclops 2? No, perfect shields, yay! He's not a perfect, he's not a blue storm, sadly. The blue storm is a good set. Well, please don't play it. Fuck, I mean, I, can, uh, I cannot stress you enough. His sister comes next don't set, play it. His sister, his sister, his hot, sexy sister comes in uh, set 16. His, his hotter twin, yeah, Electra. Two, blue storm soldier, Tempest Bleeder. She's a better version of Accelerated Command. She's just, blue storm specific, you have to give the power to a blue storm. But it gives it 3k. So you can give, uh, you can give um, Spyros his uh, 3k to be able to hit, you know, Vanguards and whatnot. Spyros and Vanguards, of course. That's what you need. 
two uh, swim uh, swim patrol jellyfish soldier. It's a jellyfish so wants to unflip to. Yet one of the other many ways to unflip damage in Aqua Force. And last but not least, we have one. I may take it out. I'm not sure yet. I'm still testing it. Battle uh, Battle Siren Princess, uh, Christy Elizabeth. Only reason I might take it out is because no one will ever let her hit. But she has blue storm in her name. She gets damage. But she does have blue storm in her name. She gets damage on. I can use her for Spyros. That's why you play it. It's a guaranteed. Oh, cool. They're gonna guard this. Oh, by the way, those who don't know her ability, it's a Cannabis One Blue Storm. Uh, when she boosts an attack that hits a Vanguard, you can grab one card, one Blue Storm. Choose one Aqua Force from your hand and call it to Rearguard Surge. <laughs> no, she, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, you, can, you choose one Aqua Force from your hand and call it to Rearguard. It can help facilitate the fourth attack and give you a little bit of rush. You fuck with your opponent, you call it Maelstrom behind it. You call it Maelstrom there. You're like, what the hell? And then next turn you go, alright, intercept. Alright, call it Basil. <laughs> I've done that. Um, starting off the grade twos, four Blue Storm, Her Blue Storm Marine General, Gregorius. A 12k attacker for Blue Storm. Legitimate 12k attacker for Blue Storm, and I'm staring at Mike while he's messing with Alpaca Senpai. Dual Knights are terrible, we know this. I'm aware. <laughs> he's just a 12k attacker, he has Blue two, Storm two in his name. Guards, fine. <laughs> exactly, like, he, he needs to stop bitching, he has all the goods. Dual Knights does a Miranda, though. He gets damage zone, you can use him for Spyros. Woo! Pretty much anything in Blue Storm in his name, when he gets damage zone, you use it for Spyros. You do have Miranda in this. Yeah. Three, the man I have mentioned at, at least ten, the man I have mentioned at least ten to fifteen times over this deck profile. I love this man to death. If I ever have an avatar, it is this man. Argos? No, Argos, Blue Storm, <laughs> Blue Storm Marine General Spyros. This man is the stones. It's counter also on Blue Storm at the end of the battle when he attacks a Vanguard. If you have a Grade Three or greater um, Aqua Force with Blue Storm in its name, or just Aqua Force, Grade Three or greater Aqua Force Vanguard, stand him. He just can't use for the rest of the turn. He doesn't lose power, he doesn't do anything, he just stands. He's a 9k crack. Yeah. Fuck that. Why? 10k. 10k, <laughs> 10K grade 2. <laughs> He's really good. You can reach 16. You can reach 12 by himself if you use any of the boosts. He's really good. Um, probably my favorite card in this deck. <laughs> Next we have 3. Title Assault. Who everybody claims is the godsend of Aqua Force, but I don't believe so. I believe it's this man right here. No, it is Starless. No, it is absolutely yeah. Star until Starless comes until out. So Starless comes out. <laughs> <laughs> He's still really good. For those of you who don't know, if you go see my uh, Rev Revan, if you go see my attention drive deck profile. Um, he can attack a Vanguard, then you can stand him, and then he loses five thousand power. So he's agreed to uh, Benedict. Title Salt is a very deceptively good card. Then you have two Storm Rider Basil. Just so I can always make sure I can at least reach my fourth attack. They may not always hit, but they're there. Yeah. They don't have Blue Storm in their name, sadly, not until set 16. And so we get a much, much, much better Basil by the name of Starless. Going on to grade threes, we have one, two, three, and four. Four Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom, the OG Niggy from set eight. Um, the original Maelstrom boss, for those who don't know, is Limit Break because he is kind of old and you're new to the game. Limit Break 4, when he attacks a Vanguard, it was the fourth battle of turn and more, he gets 5,000 power in the following ability a counter boss 1. When he hits a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw one card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and retire it. The thing about him is you can either draw, even if your opponent doesn't have any units on the field, you can draw a card still because the draw effect happens before the retire. This bitch should not have gained 5,000. Who? Maelstrom? Yes! Why? Because it's a counterblast one! I don't believe it's one, And that's only if it hits, you have to pay that shit! And then you have... The Big Niggy. My favorite card, one of my other favorite cards in this deck. Quite possibly... Quite one possibly of, one of the most broken cards out of set 15. Quite possibly, pound for pound, one of the strongest cards in the game. Yeah, especially with the Limit Break Enabler. Um, his ability is counterboss one and choose one of your stood rear guards, rest it, and lock it. Uh, at the beginning of the battle when this unit attacks a vanguard, you pay the cost. If you do this, unit gains 5,000 power and critical plus one in the following ability. If this unit does not hit the vanguard, if this unit attack does not hit, so it's a complete opposite Maelstrom. If the attack does not hit, draw one card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and retire it. So the whole point of this card is your opponent is either taking a two crit attack to the face or you're plusing two. 
real good. Easily one of the what top. He created that card because it's not real. It's <laughs> Easily in the top 20 most powerful cards in this yeah, game. Yeah, he's not. arguably one of the strongest cards I've ever printed. Probably the strongest Aqua Force card ever made. Um, if not the strongest Aqua Force card ever made. He's, it absolutely is. He's really powerful, really good for what he can do. The only reason he's the strongest is because Glory Maelstrom is an ultimate ring. Yeah, and then there's Nikki. I cry every time. <laughs> I cry every time because they made this one infinitely worse than the other two ultimate breaks. <laughs> All right, Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom, a throwback all the way from set nine. For those of you who don't know his ability, it's Limit Break five, Counter Blast one. When this unit attacks with Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets five thousand power, and your opponent cannot call Grade ones or greater to the Guardian Circle. Bullshit. The original Perfect Shield Negator. This man has won me so many games. I love him to death. I may honestly bump him up to more. The only reason I have him at one is because he's a Limit Break five. Bullshit, Bushy. Why does Vermillion get the shittiest ultimate right? Shit, the meters. <laughs> And then Prominence Glare. They both take Crystal And he's gonna play True Die Kaiser. Oh, no, I hate that card. Anyways, <laughs> that's my deck. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, so I'm gonna turn off this camera. Why, Bushy? Uh, remember Plan to like, comment, and subscribe. Planet Ezel has a different effect.